This is Ms. Wiles and this is Math 1 and in this video we're going to go over rational exponents. Rational exponents are simply called rational exponents because there's more going on than just an integer very, um, exponent. In rational exponents you have a fraction for an exponent and if your exponent is a fraction then the numerator has a meaning and the denominator has a meaning. Now we've all seen this symbol in math and we call it the square root and that's what it is. It's the square root. But anything, this square root symbol is the same as an, a one-half exponent. So if I see x to the one-half power that's the same as the square root of x. Any number that's in the denominator of an exponential fraction is what kind of root we're looking for. So if I have x to the one-third power, that equals the cubed root of x. And the cubed root of x, or any number, is like you're looking for the number that if you multiplied it by itself three times, you would get x. So the cubed root of 8, as an example, the cubed root of 8 is you're thinking about what's the number that I can multiply by itself three times and get 8. And you know it's going to be a small number, and so you automatically think 2, and then you check it out. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and the cubed root of 8 is 2. You also would have something like the fifth root of 32. And the fifth root of 32, you're thinking, what number can I multiply by itself five times and get 32? Now, to multiply something by itself five times, it's got to be a small number. So again, you start with two, because one isn't going to work. Because no matter how many times you multiply one by itself, what do you get? One. So you go 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, and the fifth root of 32 is also 2. Now this fifth root of 32, I want you to understand what this rational exponent is saying. It's saying instead of doing the fifth root of 32, I could show it as 32 to the one-fifth power. That's the same thing. This denominator... If you have a value in the denominator, it goes as the root that you're looking for.